the famous tablecloth was spilling off the mountain and over the city bowl, creating a diffused light that was perfect for photographic portraiture. That angle works perfectly for you. Karishma was modeling for freelance photographer Aya Kaladbari. I love this one. So much emotion. I love it. I love my job. Every day is something new and different, and today I get to spend the whole day taking pictures with a beautiful Aya who makes magic with her camera, and I'm so excited to learn more about photography from her. Should we go grab a coffee? Definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Originally from Iran, Aya completed an honors degree in property studies as well as a postgraduate diploma in marketing and advertising while also modeling and acting before moving to the other side of the camera. What brought you to South Africa? I came here to study. I heard UCD was one of the best universities in, in the world actually and I just decided to study more and more and more and stay 12 years. <laughs> What made you stay? I met my fiancé here, so and he's the main reason I stayed. And I fell in love with Cape Town, who wouldn't? So. What's your photography style? It's more of a documentary style. I love to capture emotions, and I love the photograph to take you back years. And, you know, it's like time traveling for me. It, it has to speak to you. It has to be a real moment. and bring out emotion in people. You are a self-taught photographer. Yes, I am. Because I fell in love with photography, I just, I fell in love with shooting people and, and emotions. I just kept shooting and shooting and I learned very fast uh, in that sense. And my fiance is a cinematographer, so that also helped me a lot to get right directions. You are also a beautiful model. Oh, thank you. Do you <laughs> enjoy being in front of the camera more or behind the camera? I enjoy being behind the camera, 100%. <laughs> Well, I would love to get some more tips on posing and taking a good photograph. Sure. Should we hit the streets? Let's do it. Rather than being studio-bound, Aya prefers using available light at real-world locations to create images that look spontaneous and authentic. She knows the streets of the inner city like the back of her hand, instinctively identifying the settings that will favor her model in terms of lighting, color, and composition. Perfect. So open your body towards me. Throughout the shoot, Aya communicates with her model, encouraging her to become a co-creator rather than a passive subject. Ah, oh, that way. Perfect. Beautiful. We got it. You want to see? I'm so absolutely. But can you see how natural you look? I, you love natural light. What are some of the basic tips that everyone can remember when taking a photo in natural light? Photography is all about light. The best lights are sunrise and sunset, after sunset. And actually, overcast is the best light for photography anyone could ever ask. So today we're very lucky. If the sun is shining really harsh, you can always put your subjects into the shade and make sure across them there's like a white building or a white wall that can reflect some good light onto them. But I wouldn't shoot in the middle of the sun because it creates a lot of harsh shadows, which is not very beautiful and soft. You are the go-to girl for female models. Why do you think females feel so comfortable shooting with you? I think because I've worked in front of the camera, it's given me a lot of ideas in terms of angles and how to position myself. So I, I know what women feel comfortable in. I know how women want to feel beautiful. So I can always direct them for those minor things to make them feel taller, slimmer, more beautiful, and however, and more natural. Like I, I say a joke and they laugh and you know, I take my shot and that's the natural photography for me. What do you think creates a beautiful, sexy, feminine silhouette? I think women should be very comfortable in their outfits and I think women should love their curves and play with them, feel their body, always have your knees closed, always like have yourself long, like stand tall, always make sure your neck is showing to create a length in your body and just be natural and just feel the energy. Let's go take some more pics. Why not? Let's do it. Gorgeous. Play with your curves. Woo, we did it. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so beautiful. Aya's style may seem on the fly, but it's actually a combination of quick decision making and seizing the decisive moments. Gorgeous. Play with the skirt. Even pull it up a little bit. Let me see your knees. Beautiful. Ah, oh, we got it. Perfect. What are your thoughts on social media for photographers and artists in general? I think social media has a huge impact. Personally, I don't have a website. 
I market myself through my Instagram. My Instagram is pretty much my portfolio. Specifically for social media, what do you think defines a great image compared to a mediocre one? It's all about capturing emotion, something that makes somebody cry. It's art, you know, like especially when it comes to emotional photography like weddings, uh, maternity, babies, newborn. It's so emotional that you need to capture those emotions. It needs to bring something out of you when you're looking at a photograph. Aya, thank you so much for spending the day with me and for shooting with me. It was absolutely I pleasure. can't wait to see the final images. I cannot wait to work on them. <laughs> when the time came for Aya's own wedding photographs to be taken, the entire event was recorded in the same natural, authentic and unselfconscious style that characterizes her work. Aya's attitude to life mirrors her approach to her craft by using her head to follow her heart.